Hey everybody, welcome. Tonight we're going to be talking about fall food plots and it's that time of year where you guys are making some decisions about what to put in the ground, when to put it in the ground, and how to put it in the ground. So I've gotten a ton of questions over the last week, so I'm going to go over a few applications for you all with the products that are most popular in our product line uh, for the fall. So a couple different strategies of, of when and what to plant. If you have existing corn or beans that you want to sow in on top of, uh, let's say you have a real world generation two soybean plot and you want to go over that and plant something that's going to come up underneath and give you green and grain in hunting season, the two products that you're going to try there is our forage oats and our plot topper. Either of those you can actually walk through your beans and broadcast seed. The application rate is going to be half of what the normal is. So in this case, this is a one acre bag. So this bag would do two acres. On plot topper, these are uh, half acre jugs. Um, this would do a, a one acre field. So again, walk through your standing corn every third row, broadcast seed that in when the uh, farmer comes in and cuts his corn, that'll still be underneath. For your beans, whether they're harvesting the beans or not, let that green come up underneath. You want to plant those. Uh, right around the 1st of September uh, for your beans right as you see the leaves starting to change color, okay? The other product that's very popular is our harvest salad. Now a harvest salad is a mixture of cereal grains which is rye, wheat, and oats and Australian winter peas on top of that. So there's four different varieties inside of the harvest salad. This is a great product to use if it's a bare field. You don't want to plant this over top of an existing row crop because those winter peas have to be pressed in or covered in order to germinate. But this is a great product sold in a in one acre bag. Uh, you do need to either cover it or call to pack it in when you broadcast seed it, okay? Now, for those of you who haven't heard about our new Deadly Dozen mix, this is a mix that many of us have used for a lot of years, and that is the combination of our plot topper, which is eight different brassicas, and our harvest salad, which is four different varieties, with three of them being a cereal grain. We can bind those two together into a quarter acre plot bag. So for those of you who don't have the huge plot that you can uh, you know, sow a whole field in, this is a great cost savings method to give you 12 different varieties of plant species that will attract deer from the beginning of season into late winter even after the season is over. So what you want to do for planting any of these products is we recommend somewhere around the 1st of September. Now, can you plant it earlier? Absolutely. But what happens if we plant it too early is, once we get to the late season, the, um, it'll just be less palatable for the deer to eat. So by planting it in September, we're still gonna have that high calcium, high protein, and high feed value out of all of these products, even into January and February. We don't want that plant to fully mature. So, planting applications. If you're going to plant the harvest salad, uh, broadcast spread it, your handheld uh, three-point drag blind uh, um, broadcast spreader. Plot topper, same thing, broadcast seed it, but make sure you don't plant it too thick. Those bulbs, if you get the seeds too close, they won't allow for it to grow properly. Your deadly dozen broadcast seed cult to pack in, and of course your oats broadcast seed um, in on top of existing food plots or just by itself. Now one thing that we want to make sure you guys understand, if you have more than one acre of that you want the deadly dozen, it's actually cheaper to buy the plot topper and the harvest salad in the bigger containers and mix it yourself. But what I caution you in doing is with a small batch like this, I can put it in a hand seeder and keep it mixed properly. If I dump a jug of this and a whole bag of this into a big gravity three point or drag behind spreader, I'm not gonna keep that mixture. So I'm gonna end up with a lot of heavy seed in one area, a lot of light seed in the other, and it won't stay mixed as you're driving around and bumping around the field. So if you want to mix these two on your own, what we recommend is broadcast seeding this, call to pack it and disc it, then come back and put your harvest salad in on top of it. So I hope this gives you guys some uh, insight on what to do for fall food plots. If you have any questions, we want you to reach out to us and, uh, and get a hold of us. We'll try to help you as best we can. Most of all, we want you to remember that we're deer hunters, we're land managers, but most of all, we are real world.